Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. Clear the clutter, personalizing your web experience with JAWS. Smart navigation, what is this feature and how can you use it? So smart navigation is a feature that we created to help you navigate things like tables and controls and things that you will find on a lot of web pages and in web-based applications more efficiently. Now, when you use this feature, JAWS, well, first of all, JAWS is ordinarily in document presentation mode in simple layout. So when you use this feature, it's going to change it to screen layout, which is going to give you a more natural representation of how the page is configured. And this is something that you'll find also with the, the navigation is going to be similar to when you're navigating a desktop application. So I'm going to show you how to do a few things here. We're going to talk about the settings first of all, and then I'll show you how to navigate a table and then how to navigate a web based application. So there are a couple ways you can use smart navigation. There is a temporary way to use it, which I'm, I'm going to show you here in a minute. But let's let's talk about the settings and the permanent way you can change this feature and turn it on. And actually, we've we've also added an enhancement to this navigation feature in JAWS and Fusion 2023. So when we go into settings, previously we just had a few options. We had off, navigate by controls, and navigate by tables and controls. Well, now we've added another feature that enables you to navigate by just, uh, use smart navigation when navigating just tables. And, and I'll explain what happens here as we go through this. But first of all, let's go to the settings center with insert six on the number row. Chrome jaw setting center dialog. All right. Now I could set this specific to Chrome. It's it's you know in the setting center right now, it's recognizing that Chrome is open. I could do default with control shift D, or I could do uh, this web page for control shift W. So it wouldn't matter what browser I open it in, it would retain those settings. For now, I'm just gonna leave it on Chrome because I'm I'm you know just gonna show you a few things here. I'm in a search box, I'm gonna type smart navigation. S M R T A V A I O N navigation one of two search results. All right, I'm going to down arrow until I get to the result that I want. Two search results list box smart navigation mode off navigation. All right, it said smart navigation mode off. So from here I can press space to go through the different settings. So I'm going to press space. Space controls two or four. This means when it's set on controls, it means that when you're using this feature and you're navigating around a web page or a web-based application, if you have some controls, like maybe some buttons on a toolbar and things like that, you're gonna be able to use your right and left arrow keys to navigate those much the same as you would in you know, a desktop application. So on these web pages, for example, if you have things that are on a line where you would ordinarily press your up and down arrow keys to navigate that, if those items are actually on the same line, when you press right and left arrow keys, it's going to navigate those to those items. So in this case, it would just navigate to the controls on the toolbars. If I press space again, space tables three or four. Here, smart navigation would be turned on for tables only. Space controls and tables. Four. Now it would be turned on for controls and tables. Space off. And here it would be turned off. So if I change this setting, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off because I wanna show you another way to access it. But if I change the setting to one of those options, I could press Alt A for apply and go to okay and it would change that setting. All right, I'm gonna press escape here. Escape, search edit box cleared. Escape, join us for our- And I'm on a blog post here that contains a table of the de events for December. It's our training events. So before I navigate to that table now, Let's talk about why you would want to use this in a table. So if I navigate to this table with T. Table with four columns and 13 rows. Now I can up and down arrow through the rows, but if I want to, if I want to be able to up and down arrow and use right and left arrow here to navigate through the different columns and really get the information that's in the table in the way that it was meant to be read, I would need to hold down Alt and Control. We, we do have a table layer command, which is a great feature as well. But if I exit that table, it's going to turn that off and I would have to turn it back on. So if I had a web page that had several tables and I wanted to be able to navigate each one of those tables without having to stop and turn a feature back on, then this is where smart navigation would really come in handy. Now the temporary setting 
is activated with insert X x-ray. So if I press insert X, Smart navigation, controls and tables. It turns it on for controls and tables. And if I press insert X again, Smart navigation, off. It turns it off. Now, if I have this on and I navigate away from the web page, if I've used insert X to turn it on, if I go away from the web page, it's going to turn it off. So I'd have to turn it back on again. But if I'm here on this web page and I turn it on and I navigate to various tables, it's going to keep it on as long as I don't leave this page. So let's go ahead and turn it back on with insert X. Smart navigation, controls and tables. All right. So now I can down arrow. Thursday, December 1st, 3 p.m. ET. Row 2 is December 6th, 11.30 a.m. ET. Row 3. So it's announcing the row that we're on. If I wanted to find out what event was on that date, I could press right arrow. What webinar with American Printing House for the Blind Day? And it's going to read that information. So whereas right arrow would normally just navigate by character, I'm going to be able to use right arrow to navigate by column. About to learn about and see a demon square Zoom conferencing platform. So here it reads each piece of information. And if I press, I'm here in the last column of this table. And if I press right arrow, row four, when, two. it brings me to the next row. It brings me to column one of the next row. If you're in column one of a row, it's going to, when you press left arrow, bring you to the last column in the previous row. Row three, where Zoom conferencing platform link register for this webinar. With... And so that is just a, a great way to navigate. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.